This is how you construct root locus plots using Scilab. First, you have to declare the Laplace transform variable S and then you have to construct the four path transfer function G. Say this is the linear system, linear time invariant system. So you would use the Scilab function syslin and since this is in continuous time, we would pass in C this is the numerator and this is the denominator say so the denominator is s into s square plus 4s plus 5 you can pass in whatever numerator and whatever denominator for your transfer function you want and this is the forward path transfer function so basically this is the forward path transfer function without the forward path gain Let's consider a unity feedback system. So H is basically one. So the loop transfer function L is G into H. You can have some other feedback transfer function. It does not matter. So with this loop transfer function, we can construct the root locus very easily by just calling the function events. So events actually created the root locus technique so the function is named after him so if we pass in this we have the root locus for that particular loop transfer function now this is calculated up to a certain value of the gain so if you want to limit the value of the gain then you have to pass in the maximum value of the gain up to which the root locus is calculated say i want to calculate the root locus up to a gain value 30 then i would uh, call this events function with this parameter so now I have the root locus for that same uh, loop transfer function, but it is calculated up to a gain value, for path gain value 30. Now you can use this data tip in this Scilab plot window. You can click here and then you can subsequently click anywhere on the root locus. The moment you click anywhere on the root locus, it will show you the corresponding pole location and the co corresponding closed loop pole location and the corresponding loop gain. So here you can see this is an uh, arbitrary point on the root locus. Here this is the corresponding pole location and this is the corresponding loop gain. So if we we can also click and drag on these points. If I click and drag, uh, you can see this is a break in point and here the loop gain is 1.852 A corresponding pole location is minus 1.667. You can also uh, at the same time you can click anywhere else on the root locus you would have you can have as many data tips as you want um, anytime you want to clear a data tip you have to right click on that particular data tip and the data tip will be automatically cleared from the screen yeah there is one more thing i want to show you so if you call this function uh, without closing the root locus i did not close the root locus it is just simply in the background without closing the root locus if i say a script uh, with some color say red the default color is pretty bad uh, if i say red and s grid and if i if if i now look at the root locus we can see the so-called s plane grid has been um, superimposed on the root locus so this s green uh, s plane grid here um, we have two things these radial lines and these concentric semicircles these concentric semicircles represent uh, uh, locations possible locations for uh, closed loop poles where you have the same uh, frequency of undamped oscillation so basically these are the uh, so if you have poles here you would have same uh, frequency of oscillations and on these radial lines these are the lines of same damping issue so these concentric semicircles represents constant frequencies and this radial lines these radial lines represent constant damping ratios so this is something you can do very easily using this open source software scilab thank you